beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel my name is kufurola as always if this is your first time of tuning into my channel you're welcome to roller's vlog thank you for stopping by and to all my new subscribers i want to say a very big thank you to you guys you guys are the best yes you guys are the best and to my whole orgies <laughs> you guys are really really amazing you guys are amazing i don't know what to say but i really appreciate every one of you so thank you guys for subscribing i really appreciate you guys so guys if this is your first time of tuning in i create content related to lifestyle lifestyle of a nigerian domestic worker or housemate in an arab country i also talk about everything and anything so please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get more videos whenever i upload videos okay so guys i want you to grab your popcorn today because this <laughs> this video is gonna make you laugh <laughs> you need to watch this video till the end guys because i'll be telling you five word things i've done as a maid in oman like five word things i've done like <laughs> crazy crazy things my dear <laughs> i can't laugh honestly because anytime i remember some of these things i just laugh like i just laugh and laugh and laugh so guys you need to grab your popcorn like i'm eating my popcorn you know my mouth this is my mouth thing i don't know if i'm adaku but anyways i don't like food i just like to munch on something or snack you understand so i don't know i'm about to finish this popcorn so you see you need to grab your popcorn right now 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 okay guys so without wasting much of your time let's dive straight into that video yes into that video into that video so guys <laughs> the first weird things i've done as a housemate in oman is sneaking food to my room Please don't judge me. Don't you judge me. Don't judge me, I beg. Don't judge me, guys. See, most especially in my first house, when I was working in my first house, because we used to stay up, like our room was upstairs, and, you know, we were staying in the same, like, in the same compound and all of that, because some people do have their compound separately, and their mother would have their own compound separately, but we stay together, one love keep us together, ne? <laughs> guys, and there was this hijab, this long hijab I had back then, I don't know what they call the hijab, maybe Kimar or something, I really don't know the name, guys, hmm, and we were two back then, my partner in crime, <laughs> Hey, I know she would watch this. My partner in crime. <laughs> As in, anytime we want to sneak anything to our room, I'll just put on that hijab and I'll go to the kitchen downstairs. Guys, hmm, I can put, I don't know. I can hide thousands of things in that hijab. Inside that, <laughs> As in, guys, it wasn't funny. There was a day that, I took something in the kitchen. We wanted to eat something because we all eat downstairs. But at times you feel like eating in your room and, you know, you just have to sneak something upstairs. So, guys, there was a day we actually planned on taking something from the kitchen and I put it under this kimar, guys. And my madam stopped me. Like, she, wa she wanted to say something. She was talking to me and I was like, and the thing was so, so hot. Hey, it was, I don't know what to say. It was so, so hot. I was feeling it and I was dancing like this. My madam said, Rola, what? I said, I want to go to her mom. I want to go to the toilet. <laughs> Guys, it wasn't funny. Like sneaking something to her, my room, as in, I used to do this back then. Like, but now, eh, I'm now <laughs> international shagala. So, Guys, this was the first wear things I did when I was New Year. Hmm, guys, and the funniest part is that you will never get it. Like, you can never get me. You know, I'm the one that will take it upstairs. And the second is the security. Like, she will do the security work and all of that. And me, I will go to the room. You know, you know, as they go, as they go, as they go. Please, if you've done this before, please let me know in the comment section below. Hmm. Guys, please don't judge me. Because you don't need to judge me. Because I won't judge you. So please don't judge me. So 
guys the second thing like the second weird thing i've done as a housemaid in oman is snapping picture with my normal nigerian outfit while they were not around <laughs> the, i was not the only one guys though i was not the only one i told you that i had a partner in crime even early this year yes it was early this year <laughs> we were still together <laughs> that it was not for the guys you know everybody went i was not at home anyways i wasn't at home it wasn't in my own madam house so my madam traveled out of the country and she took me to one of their family house and guys my sister was there hmm, that's my partner in crime <laughs> she was there i'll try and insert one of her picture here the day we snapped picture and you know we were running around like evil spirits <laughs> so guys on that very day we had already planned on snapping picture and all of that because we know they won't be around on that very day and it was only the last child that was at home with us and she's actually three years old so guys that was how we started doing makeup and all of that me and <laughs> I was the makeup artist, guys. I was, the, you know, when I finished my makeup and she was like, ah, hey, Rola, this makeup is gang, gang, gang. I said, okay, now. She said, oh, come and do my makeup. Come, I can't wait. I said, you can't wait. Hmm. If they catch us, eh? <laughs> if they catch us, we don't reach the job. That, oh. <laughs> so it wasn't funny, guys. We, so after doing our makeup, we, you know, we started dressing up and guys, hey, if you see your baby, <laughs> guys, we were looking huh, like, nah. So that was how we went downstairs to snap. We went to check the gate. If it was locked, we checked everywhere because guys, we checked everywhere because guys, <laughs> Hey, if they should catch us that day, my dear, we don't reach Niger with that. When we heard the sound of the gate like this, guys, hmm, if you see relay, hey, now so I run. <laughs> I don't even know. We just, as in, we just pick race upstairs. And the small girl was just laughing. And, you know, she was laughing and Hey guys, it wasn't funny. Hmm. This is one of the craziest thing we've ever done. Like <laughs> me and my <laughs> partner in crime, like both of us. Because I don't get mind. But if we see each other, uh, if we are together, hmm, one crazy network. We always have that crazy network together. Like we always gel and all of that, guys. So this is the second weird thing have done as a maid in Oman, guys. Hmm. So, guys, the third weird things I've done as a housemaid, guys, you know, all these weird things, I don't do them alone. I always have someone beside me, yes. And that is my partner in crime. Like, anytime we are together, we, we do crazy things. Like, we jail a lot because we work together in the same house. So, guys, the third weird things I've done as a housemaid, there was this day that my madam did something and it was so, so annoying and, you know, she shouted at me and, you know, I didn't even bother to say I'm sorry. And that was what she wanted me to say. And I said, me, I no go say I am sorry for you mm -hmm. because I no wrong you. Now you wrong me. <laughs> so I was just like, no, I won't say I'm sorry. She now said, oh, she will go and book my ticket. And, you know, I just came at that time. I think I was, it was around my fourth month or fifth, maybe sixth month. So she was like, I'll go and buy your ticket now. I, I mean, we are never get anything. How I go down? I didn't say anything. No, I didn't say I am sorry. So she said, okay. I said, okay, no problem. Fine. And I dropped the call because we were not together in the same house. I was in her parents' house. While my other sister, my partner in crime, was in the house with 
our madam. So we're not together, but the house was not far <coughs> from each other. So guys, that was how I dropped the call. And you know, I was thinking she was going to do that. But later she called me and said she was sorry that she didn't mean to do that. That something happened. That was why she reacted that way. I said, okay, no problem. That I'm sorry as well. That was it. So when I told my second partner, he said, don't worry. Don't worry. They will suffer. <laughs> they will suffer for 600 years. So that was how we planned something. And, you know, we said, hmm, these people, we are going to do something crazy. That was how we lied about something. And they are this kind of emotional person. They are so, so emotional. That is one reason why I like them. So we lied about something. And guys, hmm, they all started, they started crying. I don't want to mention that thing. Because this gist there eh, hmm, is one full gist on its own. Like, it is one season film on its own, guys. <laughs> so, we lied about that thing. And, you know, they started crying. And they started pampering both of us. Ah, hey! That was the day I knew. I, I can hurt you. I can hurt you. If you are looking for someone to play a role for you, come and take roller. Come and call roller. That was how we lied about this thing and you know, they started crying and you know, we started acting as well. We acted like, like she was saying, Rola, if I say one, two, three, if I say action, you will start crying and be saying that thing. When she said one, you know, I don't know, like we just did that thing and you know, we, <laughs> we collected some you understand so it was so so crazy anyways it was crazy it's the fourth thing like the fourth weird thing i've done as a housemaid is pretending to be sleeping yes guys i do this a lot like a lot guys i cannot come and kill myself after working someone will come and call me to come and work again so i'll just do as if I'm sleeping, I'll just pretend as if I'm sleeping. There was a day that my madam came to my room and she was like, I forgot to lock the door on that very day. And she came in and was like, Rola, 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 Rola. See, if I don't answer them, they will start changing the tone of my name, the tone of my name. Like, Rola, 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 Rola. I didn't answer. Like, I didn't. That was when I started doing. I started snoring. So they believed me that, oh, she's sleeping. Like, she's... Oh. See, eh? This head. I swear, I've done a lot of crazy things in this place. So let me know down in the comment section below if you've done this before or you're still doing it. Let me know in the comment section below. So guys, the last thing, which is the fifth where things I've done as a housemate in Oma is <laughs> bringing a lot of things home. Like guys, in my first house, I told you guys that we were too bad then. And you know, anytime we are together, there's this crazy network we do have together. Anytime we go out with our madam, with the family, and you know, there's no how we won't bring anything. Like we'll bring something. <laughs> On that, if you come to our room, eh, on that, our bed, you think we are selling? We are. We have this supermarket, own mini supermarket on that, our bed. You will see a lot of things there, my dear. I won't lie to you. You will see a lot of juice, a lot of, hmm, a lot of things. Because the funniest thing is that if you don't take all these things, they will waste it. Hmm. If you don't take them. When you get home, you will start regretting that, oh my God, why didn't I take this thing? Or if you tell your madam that, ah, and I wanted to take this thing, she will say, you would have to, ah, you will now say, oh my God, shit, man. See, we don't like to say shit, man. We take, we take, that's why we move. <laughs> we do take things, you know, we do bring a lot of things home and, you know, I really don't know how to explain this, but as long as we know that this thing is going to waste, like, it's going to be a waste, like, they would just 
trash it in the bin and you know we'll take it though my dear we'll take it a lot of things like <clears throat> you know that african vibes now you still you understand the african vibes so that is it it is not stealing you no know, my dear i don't think it is stealing this is taking this is taking there's a difference between taking and stealing okay so this is taking <laughs> so guys <clears throat> so guys if you've done this before let me know in the comment section below see there's nothing to be shy about there's nothing to be shy about these people can waste things like they waste a lot of things and at the end you will you regret that why didn't you take this thing like why did you leave it and all of that so uh, that is it when we move we take you understand okay guys see you guys in my next video and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube, make sure you do that right now. 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 Where's your popcorn? Now. Okay. And turn the notification bell to get more videos. So guys, see you guys in my next video.